This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, I'm Spencer Blake. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Police are looking for a stolen trailer full of deeply personal memories. The trailer belongs to a Goodyear funeral home. More than a thousand Christmas tree ornaments were inside, each one personalized that came from a family who lost a loved one. Owners of the Thompson Funeral Chapel say that trailer must have been stolen sometime between Thursday night and early Friday morning. On Monday, Arizona State Public Health Laboratory is beginning testing to combat the coronavirus. Our state can now run tests and get results faster, which of course means we can detect the virus a lot quicker. Plus, officials will be able to test more types of patients, not just people who traveled to coronavirus hotspots. They had a few guys, you know, saying you guys are name calling, you know, real, you know, you're racist, you're evil, you're the worst of the worst. Those are owners of Mexican restaurant Sammy's near Tucson. They're getting some intense backlash after supporting President Donald Trump and attending his rally in Phoenix over a week ago. Now the president is backing them up. He tweeted out his support for them today. And we've got changes coming to the forecast as we head into tomorrow. We are going to see some snow showers tonight in northern Arizona with those snow levels dropping to about 4,500 feet. Uh, we'll see the rain moving into the valley for Monday, only getting about a tenth of an inch of rain and then other higher elevations in Arizona. See about a quarter of an inch of rain on Monday. We will have gusty winds and a chance for some lightning with some isolated thunderstorms out there. Uh, temperatures for tonight, we'll see 25 for Flagstaff, 44. For Sedona and 52 for Phoenix. Our temperatures for tomorrow will see a high of 43 for Flagstaff, 55 for Sedona, and 64 for Phoenix. All right, thanks, Ashley. For updates on more stories, download the Arizona's Family News app and check it out on your Roku device as well. I'm Spencer Blake. Have a good night.